Hey guys, what's up? Morning, how's it going? Just wanted to take a minute to think of for watching this video and uh, welcome you back to Batman Arkham Knight. Okay, so last episode we found out that the Arkham Knight took Oracle in the Amtec D60's uh, vehicle. The wheels they have are Amatec D60s. And now we're going to find out where the Arkham Knight took Oracle. Joker. Okay, Joker. Yeah, so we're going to toggle the forensic scanner and follow the trail. The Arkham Knight's trail. All right, guys, you already saw this part, so I'm going to cut this part out, and then when I get back to the part that we didn't already do, I'll come back. Yeah, so I went a little back to where we were in the last video because uh, we were doing the Riddler mission and uh, we were gonna pick which key Catwoman was supposed to pick and we didn't do the part so yeah. that's why so I went back to where we were Damn. Thank you. 
Batman? That had better be you. And you had better be sorry. It's the Catwoman. Yeah. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her dropping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Yes, yeah, so this is where we were. When you can design, switch characters, level one. Level one, switch character. Yeah, this, this is where we were. And where we were going to go to the Cauldron Train Yard to pick Catwoman's key. Yeah, we'll do. Of course I'm gonna do that. We'll do that. Can't do that. I won't. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Alfred. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. No, not now, Joker. Yeah, we read that a couple of minutes back. One last video, I'll say at least. Additional expansion missions are now available. You can now toggle between the most wanted missions and expansion missions screens. A challenge in the Cauldron Trivia. And I'll win. Selena's life depends on it. Just solving riddles for Riddler's uh, challenges. Because Riddler obviously want us, wants us to solve it and get it, so that's what I'm doing. There's one up here, so. Yeah. 
Mental blocked. Ah, detective, you arrived. I thought Captain was little early to this might encourage your participation. I realized, you see, that the kind of image obsessed narcissist who plays this basketball by a podcast would never willingly submit itself to the kind of humiliation I have in store. Yet, here you are. <laughs> oh, shut up already. Dang idiot. These parts were already did, so I'm gonna cut them out and then come back when yeah, these parts are done because we did them in the last video. Okay, guys, this is the third and last round of the racing part, so we're done with this. We're done with the racing part. Okay. Let's see. Listen carefully, Dark Knight. Your friend's life depends on it. Back in the orphanage, a series of glass cabinets have appeared in front of Catwoman. Isn't that right, my dear? I see the enemy. Okay, now let's see. Good. One of those cabinets, my dear, has your first key inside. The other, see? They contain less useful keys. Keys that will unlock the admittedly slight contents of your skull all over the orphanage walls. Your job, detective, is simple. So figure out which cabinet Catwoman must open. And don't get it wrong. Well, most of them will kill me. One of them won't. Right. You can do this. Okay, so we got a switch. Characters back and forth with L1 to see which key Catwoman has to open. Or at least claw out. Okay, so. I do want to assure you, Catwoman, that death will be near instantaneous. Instantaneous. Well, I want to say it's saying. The second lane, the third spot. Good luck, Catwoman. Given Batman's limited intelligence, I'm afraid you're going to need it. Need it. You know, I actually prototype designs for a portable, portable. We get it. We get it, shut up. Hold on, guys, come on. First key collected. And we're done with that one. Too many more, 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 too many more. 
Mental block. Nice. Well, we just read that, so whatever. Yeah, we'll do that next episode because we're going to do some other side missions. Let's see some, some of the. I want to say killer ones? Like zero killer ones? I don't know. Let's see. And yes, I know we did this in the first episode, just uh, wanted to restart it, but just uh, do it again because we didn't have any color and we still had the Arkham City suit, so yeah, that's why. Inspect mutilated body. So, just like last time, this episode, like last episode, we're gonna take the blood sample and see what's up, what's going on. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Which one's that? Just a deep tissue scanner. Up. Up. Deep tissue scanner. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis. Birth defect. Wedding ring, like last time. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads Ophelia. And then the skull. Something's wrong with the skull. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred. Alfred. The victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of the marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. 
Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna do submissions uh the next episode. So and we might do another video today, another episode today. Uh if we have time. Like I'll see if we have time. Uh because we do. We do have time, so uh Yeah. I think we're gonna stop this here and uh, do some other videos. Do some other, excuse me, do some other parts of this video uh, soon, because we still have some time, so we might do some other most wadden missions. So, you guys. Uh, Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and punch that notification button in the face so you know when I post a video and you can see it all. Thanks and uh, bye.